Oh, what is up, guys? It's Mike Tim here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And most of all, welcome to my Let's Play of Risen 3 The Titan Lords. Which will be done, of course, just like Risen 1, Risen 2 on all three parts. Before I continue, though, there is something that I must explain, but that requires me to go in game and uh, you know explain how certain things work in this game because I looked at forums or what have you and people seem to misunderstand some of the achievements within the game and I'm gonna try to explain it all you know long short uh, long story short when you come to Risen 1, Risen 2 and Risen 3 you know is it understandable? I'm not quite sure let me uh that but you know risen one risen two and risen three have risen one has no steam achievement but it does have in-game in achievements but the achievement system works the same as it does in risen two and risen three which is all the achievements are designed upon not only one playthrough but two to maybe even three playthrough especially in risen one's case with the king meters achievement in-game achievement that is you know with 300,000 gold you can only get that by defeating the game three times this game risen to risen one their achievements are designed on beating every single path and then you get most achievements like 50 treasures dug up a risen three case you know um, 2,000 mobs killed or even 5,000 mobs I'm not quite sure how much mobs you have to kill for Big Hunter, but I think it was around 2,000. Most people think it's one in one sitting. That's not true. As long as your save file is present, it doesn't matter how many playthroughs you do. Basically, each an individual playthrough will continue towards the next, provided that if you beat a specific playthrough, you gonna max out certain capabilities. Like Risen One, you know, if you train Staff Combat to level 10. You go into the new game, let's say the new game, plus your character has more, by default, more chance to land critical hits with staff-like weapons. Um, doesn't mean that you can charge attack like a level 10, no. Doesn't mean that you can use more combos than a level 10, no. Doesn't mean that you can parry, no. But your basic attack damage will be a bit more if you train the crossbow, it is in one's great case or the bow, you know, and you go to the new game plus, your character will have an advantage over uh, the new game character when it comes to if you hit vital points like the head, the legs, etc. You know, your bow or your crossbow, whatever you put on level 10 in your previous character will be, you know, implemented so that you will land more critical hits and thus land more damage now this is done so that guys that like me that goes their first playthrough always on hardest to one harder you know hard to ultra or hard to hardcore normally i always play the game first on hard if the game has a higher option i will also do the higher option but first i'll always do it on hard just to see if you know how the game works how to get this glory etc now we're risen one and risen two there was no need for inside game requirement for risen two however that was a different case and uh i did have to beat one particular playthrough i got most of the achievements already because of it i did record it and i did upload it as you will see in my you know uh schedule update video if you will um, that will be public way before this video um, basically today which is the 26th uh, still 25th of October it's still you know not 12 a.m. so it's still 25th but um, you know Risen 2 has the same method now I did play the game as a demon hunter and I did maxed out you know my sword capabilities my toughness capabilities but there was one in particular skill that i could not max out because of the fact that i wasted a lot of learning points well glory in order to get the right 
capabilities which were for demon hunter sets only because you know each guild if it says guild all or guild it doesn't say guild that's all you can find it throughout the game by separate trainers if it says the guardians the pirates or you know um, the demon hunters you can only get that by joining that faction so I have to make sure that if I join that faction that faction's character build has to be fully built and that was not the case when I beat it my first attempt my official blind through uh, blind playthrough of risen 2 uh, risen 3 god damn it of the playthrough of the demon hunter now like I said I didn't know the game beforehand now I do I do know the game quite a bit enough in order to see what I have to do in order to prevent the same mistakes from happening in the playthrough of the demon hunter the playthrough of the guardian and the playthrough of the voodoo pirate because in the end I will do all three parts each individual character will have their own individual builds and because of that my you know achievements will be automatically platinum as in 100% achieved why do I say that well if you make a new game plus and you save with the new game plus the data that new game regular new game your first playthrough save files data the achievements that have been acquired the amount of mobs that have been killed the amount of hours that you have spent will be resended to those save files so if you delete your old one your character stats of your first playthrough will still be inherited into uh, that particular save file in the new game plus save file or the new game plus plus save file in Risen's case you know you have three playthroughs new game new game plus and new game plus plus and each individual character if you do it right will have a benefit from the start over the previous character it depends on the build that you take it depends on the skills that you take etc and so forth and not everything counts you know only certain things count like more you know chance to crit with swords muskets shotguns pistols crossbows magic faster casting time etc you know but without further ado as you can see i deleted that save file so my character should have no stats whatsoever when it comes to the previous demon hunt playthrough that i did that is still on my youtube channel but i will delete them which is about 50 to about 60 videos maybe even more then i will just delete and redo because uh, i want my characters to be a fully perfect build and i want them to be in the way individually unique from one way or another one with commentary which is this one apart from this section as well as the you know one with commentary well two actually with commentary and then eventually if you guys want i will also do a hardcore run but for that all three parts in risen's case has to be beaten because you know risen one has three runs you can already find them on my youtube channel Risen 2 has 3 runs, I currently, while well, I'm recording this, have 1, but maybe, well, you know, before this one is public, I will have 2 parts completed already, I'm not sure, maybe all 3, maybe not, you know, maybe still even 1, but 1 at the very least, and more will be coming, so uh, without further ado, let's just get into the game. Let's uh, make sure that the game is on Ultra Because you know, I only play on Ultra I did play on Hard, but that was because you know, I didn't know the game And since I fucked things up when it comes to getting my character full build enough I'm gonna use the moment, if you will, to turn up the notch From Hard to Ultra Of course you guys won't notice a damn thing about it, but you know, that's fine so uh, without further ado guys, let's get in the game. This by the way is a no commentary gameplay video playthrough. So if you want to see one with you know commentary, check out the first or the third playthrough. 
or if you want to see the demon hunt in particular well then you have to do with the no commentary part and as always make sure to subscribe to my channel hit those like buttons if you want to see a you know risen series hardcore run because the likes that I will get whether it's the first the second or the third playthrough or whatever the amount of playthroughs that the game can have will all count towards the hardcore run keep in mind the more parts a game has the easier it is to unlock and thus the more it requires to unlock but you know I'm starting to talk too much so uh, let's just get into the game beat the game and then go to the next I knew it'd be hard damn when was it ever easy how many times during my countless raids did death stare me right in the face but that hideous face staring back at me was beyond even my imagination there is no escape your body belongs to me men attack your nightmare again it's always the same the ghost captain he haunts me almost every night it's just a dream real life is out there waiting for us anchors away come on we're here at the crab coast how long was I asleep far too long now come on get your ass out of the cabin I'll go and wait for you on the shore
if we want to find the greatest treasure of the Southern Seas, we need to get to the ancient temple. According to the map, we need to follow the path. Come on, dearest brother. We'll be rich soon. Where are you wandering off to? We've got to stay on the path. Show's over then. Take cover! Not bad! We've gone too far. We need to turn back. Do you even fucking know where we are? Yes, I do know where we fucking are. Huh. Alright. But if you want to go back, just tell me, okay? Watch out! Ha! Show's over then. Still not in the uh, this is the training area, if you will. Bastard. <laughs> oh, that really hurt.
There's the old temple. I knew it. Now we just have to get there. <laughs> Look, there's something over there. Looks like a dead pirate. Just as I thought. We're not the only ones looking for the old temple. You should take a look. Maybe he's got something of use. Later, maybe. He's got a treasure map. Look at the map, and let's see where he buried his stuff. He hasn't been there long. I reckon he hid his treasure somewhere close. I don't think this is the right place. Stay on the path. What was that? I felt as if... There! Just then. Be careful, it looks dangerous. temple. Hmm. I wonder what happens when you pull that lever over there. Why do you always have to touch everything, little brother? Ah, these ruins will hide many secrets. An old book. Thunder rolled through the valley, and the earth shook as I approached the large gate of the ancient temple. Only my blunderbuss provided me with some protection against the wild creatures of the jungle. Hmm. If a mage wrote this, he left long ago. A shovel. Someone must have buried something here. But what? Excellent. Now let's see what's here. Great. But I'm sure that's not even half of what we could find here. Do you really think there's some great treasure hidden in that old temple? Just wait. Soon we'll be rolling in gold.
we can't cross. We need a bridge or something. Have a look around. There must be something we can use. The rotten tree will make a perfect bridge. Well done. Let's move on, dearest brother. Later, maybe. <laughs> oh, that really hurt. Today, only monkeys live here. Later, maybe.
There is something there. But it looks like there's no way to get over. Well, unless you can fly. I see. Parrot flight magic. You can use it to fly over gaps and chasms. by yourself. I'm back. Bloody pirates. Typical. I knew we wouldn't be the only ones here. We need to stop them, or they'll get to the treasure before us. Payback time! I'll get you! Not bad! I guess they were just the rear guard. Others must be in the temple. Who's the leader, do you reckon? We'll find out which flag they're sailing under soon enough. The captain's sure to be inside. We need to get in. Unfortunately, the bridge to the temple's withdrawn. I can see that. But there seems to be another way in, across the river. It'll be a bit difficult for you, dearest brother, but not impossible. Find your way into the temple and activate the drawbridge. I'll stay here and keep lookout.
that was him again. The ghost captain. But how can that be? What does it mean? Maybe I'll find the answer in the old temple. Someone killed him. Right, I'm inside. This is the way to the temple. took you so long? The temple's dangerous. We need to get going. Here lies Captain Rawlings, an old adversary of Admiral Alvarez. So, our Admiral has one less enemy. He must have been looking for the same thing as us, the vast treasure of the Crab Coast. I guess the Temple didn't intend to give up its riches easily. How long are we going to hold out before suffering the same fate? Does Admiral Alvarez actually know we're here? No. So you haven't told him? Oh, come on. He doesn't need to know everything. I don't want to share the treasure with him. It's our lives we're risking here. What are we going to do now? We should have found something ages ago. A clue, a sign, anything. We haven't been everywhere yet. Hmm. I'm not sure if I still want to. So you be careful. Later, maybe.
You can go there by yourself. I'm back. You can go there by yourself. What sort of creatures are they? And just look at the cave. I don't fucking know. I've never seen anything like this before either. I don't like this. What's up, sis? You scared? Come on, we're the children of Captain Steelbeard. The greatest pirate captain of all time. Father would never pass on something like this, and neither will we. There's something strange here. Let's explore. Be careful. We don't know what's ahead.
see. Now you've got your own command, after all. No. Don't talk such crap. I'll get you out of here. It's... too late. No. No. <laughs> Goodbye. Umba, Kachoka, rich. <laughs> what the hell? Easy. You're not ready yet. Take your time. What? Have patience. What have you done to me? Don't get worked up about it. It's not good for you. One thing at a time. After death, it takes time for your mind to clear. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. My spirit was trapped in the underworld once, too. What do you mean, you two? Fine! Then tell me what you were doing buried. Having a little nap. Look, I was... And where is your companion? You didn't come here on your own, did you? Patty. Yes, exactly. She buried you and has long since gone. But... From now on, I'm going to keep a beady eye on you, so you don't lose the rest of yourself. What did the shadows do to me? They killed you, and took your spirit to the underworld. You're just a spiritless, empty shell. It's only a matter of time before you become nothing but a soulless minion of the underworld. What did you say? Me? A minion of the underworld? Yes, my friend, you will become a demon. A lackey of the underworld. It will be a long and painful existence that'll end in damnation. You're just pulling my leg, right? You can complain all you like. You'll just become a demon that much quicker. You need to find your spirit fast if you don't want to succumb. You are weakened and have forgotten much. You need a powerful mage. Two would be even better. Living without a spirit is no easy thing. Believe me. How do we get away from here? I have a sloop at anchor in the bay. It's no battleship, but fares well enough. I want to look around. Do what you must, but don't forget you've no spirit. If you don't want to mutate into some demon, you'd better pull your finger out. If you have any more questions, I'm right by your side.
Where can I find them? There are powerful sorcerers on the southern seas. Some of them are spiritual leaders of communities. But make sure you find yourself a strong one. They will help you regain your spirit. Where are the exiled mages? As far as I know, they've settled on the Thunder Isle of Tyrannis. They're digging up the island of Gnome, searching for small magic crystals. And only the mages know what they'll be used for. I need a druid now. I heard of one on Kalador. I think the druid is called Eldrick. He's supposed to be the spiritual leader of the demon hunters. They are extremely powerful dark warriors with their own kind of black magic. I'm sure they'd help you. What about the Inquisition? They lost their supremacy on the southern seas long ago. But the sugarcane plantation on Takarigua may still be there. I'm not sure the blue coats can help you, but who knows? The natives are powerful voodoo sorcerers. That's true. The tribe that you should find most interesting lives on the island of Kila. Strong warriors. Mighty shaman. Pretty powerful voodoo. I should think you'll find what you're looking for there. I think you have enough information to find a powerful sorcerer now. You must decide where you want to go for help. Who are you exactly? I'm Bones. We met before, several years ago, but in the state you're in, I don't think you'll be able to remember that. I used my paltry voodoo skills to awaken your physical remains from the sleep of death. The last person I tried it on wasn't so lucky, but that's another story. I'm impressed they worked at all, and that you're now more or less alive. I am the only friend you have left in this desolate place. Who sent you to find me? I'm a pirate, like you. Well, at least you used to be one. You were a member of a pirate association that was once very powerful. The Council of Captains on Antigua. Admiral Alvarez has been leading the council for many years. He sent me to look for you. He was concerned about his protégé. How did you find me? Not difficult, really. Every rogue on the South Seas knew that you wanted the treasure of the Crab Coast. No, oh, you had better give the old sea dog a hand. Admiral Alvarez has a few problems on Antigua. The existence of the Council is at stake. Have you got a moment? Speak. I had a dream. Don't you, Stan. I saw an island. And fog. And? And blue coats. Many of them. I'm sure this means something. We should look into it. What do you think? Where is this island exactly? Well, I'm not really sure, but I've got a feeling about it. Well, at least you're optimistic. Absolutely. Take a look at your sea chart, and then go straight ahead. Fog Island, here we come. Ah, I just remembered something. Let me guess. Sailing is not your thing. What? No. What makes you say that? Your face says it all. Very funny. Have you ever heard of the Isle of Thieves? I've heard the island is overrun by gnomes. 
Yes. And do you know what that means? I should watch my gold. Exactly. But that wasn't what I was getting at. Apparently goblins landed there recently. And? And that means trouble. Our route permitting, we should stop and set things right. After all, there's bound to be some loot. Then I'm in. Aye, aye, Captain. Where is Patty? No longer on the Crab Coast. She sailed to Takarigua. From what I gather, she's hunting the one who sold her the treasure map. I guess it won't be an amicable encounter. Do you know anyone on Takarigua? Just the old lighthouse keeper, Jack. But I've no idea if he's still alive. <laughs>